Now the next thing you have is the option to use these replicating member snippets. So if you click here on this link for member snippets, it's going to open up this pop over here. And you'll see that you have these snippets that's going to generate this information and content for each member of your system. So you can customize this page exactly how you want it so that it generates the member's name, email, phone, Facebook URL, any of their links, or even an image like their picture that you have them upload when they go through the setup settings if you want to have that enabled, and uh, text that you have them write about their self when they go through, up, through the setup settings. So, for instance, if you wanted to generate their picture, what you would do is take this snippet, so you do control C to copy that snippet, and then on the page, wherever you want to generate that picture, you just put that snippet there. And I will show you how to actually generate their image instead of just the image URL because this, if you just put their snippet there, you'll see that this will just put the URL for the image on their page. So I'll update that to show you what I mean. So now you'll see I've just got a URL here for the image for their picture. I would want to actually generate the picture. So the way to do that would be to go to this icon right here. You click on the image. So first of all, we'll get rid of that out of here. So we'll go here to this image icon and we'll just put that for the image source right there. And then we're just going to click insert and we'll go down here and update the page. And now when we refresh that, you'll see the image right there on the page that we generated. So that would be each individual member's image. You wouldn't see my logo here. You would see the picture of me and then you'd see a picture of every different member uh, that they set when they went through the setup and uploaded their picture. So for instance, if we go through here, uh, go through the setup. On the second page of the setup, it's going to ask them to upload their picture right here. And whatever picture they upload, that's what will be generated on the page for that particular member.